Hi there and welcome to my channel and today I have a really exciting video to share with you a double unboxing for a brand new brand that I recently discovered Milo I think is how you pronounce it and I kind of stumbled up across this brand while re researching uh, Lueve and so if you haven't seen my recent Lueve unboxing I'll link that here and down below you can check that one out but uh, there was the, the leather guy um, and he was comparing these two bags. And uh, I was like, what is that bag? You know, that he was ripping apart. I thought it was beautiful, but that's what he does. <laughs> I'll link his, the short I saw uh, down below as well. And I went on the site and I fell in love. So I went for that original bag but like I do, when I was on the site, I picked up some other ones as well. So if you're interested to see what I picked up, my first impressions and kind of a little overview of them, then just keep watching. All right, I will tell you a little bit um, about what I read about the company while I unbox this. Um, so from what I know, it's a company, the company is in Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, they use, you know, Italian cow hide leather. Um, their craftsmen are teaching, you know, future generations how to do these uh, beautiful, intricate, like geometric designs and they also uh, utilize sustainable practices as in um, the purse that I originally fell in love with which is similar to the similar to the puzzle bag when I get it I'll do a comparison review um, but it's called the Naomi so I'll put a picture up uh, that is the purse that I um, am waiting on and um, they use the remaining parts from that purse so little leather scraps to make all these wonderful geometric uh, designs for all these other purses and their um, shapes and colors and just everything they do it, I haven't seen anyone else do anything close to it it is amazing and then it has the name brand there And it wrapped there with a little sticker. And then a lovely kind of same color dust bag. Um, it feels like a cotton kind of material and then it has a little bit of a kind of a ribbon emblem there with the name brand. And then some nice uh, ribbon pulls there. And then here it is. This is the Sierra Mini Tote Tall in off-white. And I was needing another off-white purse. I actually, well, I have a couple, but um, this is a completely different design. I actually don't have a tall like this. So it does have this band here. I'm not sure what this is for. It is very cute very very cute so let's go over the features now i did opt for the mini this does come in other sizes but i am pretty light in what i carry these days so i just usually have you know my wallet and keys and maybe a lip gloss couple things in my purse so I kind of prefer a mini to smaller size purse myself but they do have other sizes and then it has some leather care instructions on the tag there beautiful little uh gold hardware it is like kind of a shiny gold but not too shiny and it does have the name brand on the on all of the hardware as well which is really nice and this was something different that I noticed it had too, is it's this drawstring, a drawstring top. I do not have a purse like that. I thought that was so cute and a little different and unique. So it does come with a, a strap to wear it crossbody. 
and very cute so the inside um i think they said is an ultra suede which is a man-made suede and they do that to make the inside more hardy um, but the top little drawstring bag part is um, actual suede and then of course the outer is all leather um, but it is very much sewn together in kind of the puzzle bag um, I guess essence <laughs> but completely different um, so at least this is not the same but I mean if you wanted to compare I think the sewing together is popular and to create a different design like this is just really neat so um, let's see so each of the sides is just, all of it is a smooth leather. So not a, pe not a pebbled leather, just a smooth finish. Um, the stitching is in the same color as the leather, which I really like. And then you can see the suede through. That is what the, the leather pieces are sewn onto is what it appears to me. Um, and then it does have the branding on the bottom, which is really cute. Uh, no feet or anything, but I don't really put my purses on the floor ever anyway. <laughs> I, if I do need to set it down, um, I usually will use the little purse hooks that go on the table, or a lot of the times these days I've opted for kind of a cross, cross body situation, which is what I intended to use this for as well. And so you can just put the bag inside and I like how the handles can lay all the way down. That's really cute. It is small. This is probably one of my smallest purses. So I, since I have been picking up new purses, I would like to get them in completely different styles so that I have choices. So even though this is an off-white, it is an off-white with tan and it is a mini it's a tall design so completely different than anything i have so really happy with that and let's see the even the little wrapper had the name brand on the strap and then it does have the tab button to go ahead and make it as short or tall as you would like which is really nice and with these kind of leather things too, you could always have more holes poked into them if you needed, uh, but I will try this one out. And then another really cool feature is the hardware here has a little tab that opens. I don't know if you could see that right there. So you can actually just slide on the leather strap easily instead of having to undo the whole thing. Let's get that on because I would absolutely wear this as a crossbody more so than a top handle. Really, really cute. And so if you were gonna have both on, which I always keep both of my straps on. So this is pretty much how I'd have it. And I can fit my arm through there. I do have a skinny arm, but it does fit. So I would absolutely utilize these both ways. So let's see what fits inside. So an essential, obviously my keys. I always have to have a, a lip gloss and I love the Fenty Beauty. It's my favorite. <laughs> and I like all the colors. I usually keep a little mirror and this is a really cute little lighted mirror. And then some gum, it's a little smush, so I'll just sneak that in there. And then the most important thing, um, my wallet. So let's see. And I kind of just threw everything in here. First time putting it in there, so I gotta see how it would go. And I think that is perfectly fine. That looks great. So everything can fit in there. I probably could set some sunglasses right there on top, but with uh, these loops, I could also just hang them off of there. And sometimes I put them on my head, <laughs> which is dangerous, I know, but uh, sometimes I do. But this is just really cute. I really, really uh, like it. 
So a good first pick from Milo. Um, just by their design and quality that you know I'm seeing, I, I think this is gonna be a huge company one day. Um, they just have really beautiful uh, designs and craftsmanship and um, I can tell, I, I just think it's gonna be a very popular brand one day. So this one has kind of the flip open. So a little different style of box. Uh, same white tissue paper sticker. Oh, and the box I think maybe is collapsible. It's wanting to come apart or I'm not sure, but it's breaking. <laughs> so that one isn't as hardy as the other one. Uh, same kind of dust bag. So it is in that uh, lovely kind of a sage-ish green or a grayish green color. Really pretty. I love it. And uh, lovely ribbon drawstrings with just the name there. And the next one I picked up is the Atlas. So this is the Atlas in praline and it is a very various shades of brown which i've been so into brown this last year um so i needed a brown purse and this just looks amazing um online i already liked it and these all come in so many colors too um but this just looks amazing in person i'm actually very impressed with this design it looks beautiful so it kind of has this star design um, and it has a light tan a medium brown so medium brown here this is almost a little bit lighter tan than these and then almost a burgundy on the sides here a burgundy brown a dark brown i mean this has a lot of different shades of brown, <laughs> which is great. You can wear this on anything. And then it has the embossed uh, name, brand name there. So very minimalistic, which is another thing I love. And then it's on the bottom as well. Very, very cute. Um, so this has a different top. Uh, it actually has a flap, an inner, an inner flap. Let me get the, it does have a strap. And, oh, that's nice. Okay, so it has, so it's magnetic uh, and it has double magnets there to keep it together. And I saw one of the gals reviewing this and she had her stuff in there and hung it upside down. We will try that and see if it actually keeps your stuff in. Uh, it still has the same kind of hardware on the side. Really, really cute. This design is just so beautiful. And then on the inside, it just feels so nice in there, like just a nice soft leather. Um, and then it has kind of a patch or emblem down there on the bottom as well. This is actually, I'm just so impressed by this, actually. I like it way more than I thought I would. <laughs> I was like really waiting for the Naomi to come and I wonder if this one will be my favorite. Now, we will see. I am just like really, really loving this. It, the design is so unique because it's kind of a rectangle. It looks like a, a traditional, um, you know, style bag, it, as in the shape almost, but a little bit different. And then just all this intricate detail is just amazing. So really, really beautiful. I love this. I love both of them. So keeping both of these, <laughs> so, so far, uh, two new purses I'll be styling this year. Okay, and then this has the same, uh, the same type of uh, strap is the last one, an adjustable strap here with the button uh, notches so that you would, that's how you would change it as opposed to a normal buckle, which I like, that's more streamlined as opposed to, you know, a regular belt. And then I just noticed too on the back, it's flat uh, and it has the brand name in there, um, embossed in there as well. So really, really beautiful. And the strap 
is the color that's on the bottom right here. So it matches the colors right here exactly. It's the same color of leather. So I really have been on a mission really, um, I don't know, like the last five years, I would say, to kind of try other brands. So I do have some luxury purses and I do buy them every now and then. But really, I've been into the smaller, um, the smaller brands that are just doing something way different and really not quite that pricey. Um, you know, I know you are paying for the brand name a lot of the times with like Louis Vuitton or Loewe or, you know, Gucci or anything like that. Um, but still, I prefer, I mean, all of the purses I got that you will see from uh, Milo are I got quite a few and all less than my one puzzle bag. And I, we will see what I reach for the most. Um, so far, just really in love with this one. <laughs> so it's very impressive to me. Let's see what fits inside. So pulling the items that I just put in my mini tote and also for size comparison, um, here they are. So they're almost about the same height and width wise, Let's see, how should we do this? The, you know, it's a little bit bigger, but um, you can see that this isn't quite as small as it looks. It's really cute. That's gonna be great in the spring and summer. All right, now that my keys are buried. <laughs> and this is great because you have full access here. So you can just open that up wide. And as you can see, you can just easily get anything in there. So keys, my gum and mirror. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room in this one. I could easily fit a lot more items in there. Uh, easily my sunglasses and any other things. Okay, let's see if it, the magnet is strong. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, it does work. So those are strong double magnets. So if your purse like dropped off of the chair or in the car, that happens to me, it slides off the car <laughs> seat sometime, um, then you, it looks like your stuff would stay in there. So there you go, actually working. <laughs> and I have a, a lot in my wallet, it's heavy. So overall, and then this is a just a crossbody. So overall, just really, really cute. Really happy with these. Um, yeah, if you need any more information on these, then just let me know. I'll do my best to answer. I will link the information down below. This is a newer brand, so I, I don't think that there's any resale. I, I didn't even look for resale because, you know, I thought they were good priced. All right, ladies, that was my first Milo <laughs> unboxing. And I have to say, so far, 100% very much impressed. Love, love, love the designs. If you found this video informative, fun, entertaining, please consider giving it a like so that YouTube will press it out to more ladies that it may potentially help. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, maybe consider subscribing. It's totally free and I would surely appreciate it. I thank you so much for dropping in and spending some of your time with me. I hope that you have a really great day and I hope to see you in the next one.